One Monroe County hunter says he feels like he won the lottery. All new at 6, Fox 2 reporter Daniel Esteve shows you why this hunter says he is glad he didn't miss this shot at history. Lurking in the trees are all kinds of animals. For most Missouri hunters, a buck or doe will do just fine. I've uh, been deer hunting for quite a while. But Monroe County's Samuel Parati found a rare middle ground. I glanced at the rack, and the first thing I did was grab the rear leg and lift it up to make sure, uh, confirm my suspicions, and sure enough, it was a doe. <laughs> An antlered doe. Now, when I counted 16 points, I was pretty, uh, pretty amazed at that. Amazing is right. Some estimate these hybrids can be found in one of every 10,000. But the true number isn't really known. It's kind of hard to tell because when we have people harvest their deer, they have to check it as a antlered buck or a doe. So we don't really know how many antlered does have been harvested. But we can definitely say it's a very unique and unusual circumstance to you know find an antlered doe in the wild like that. And Mr. Parati will definitely show that off. The uh, antler doe is at the taxidermist right now. And do you already have a spot for it? Do we know where it's going? Yeah, I've got a good idea. Of course, I had to double check with my wife to make sure that was okay. She's uh, she decorates the house, and I don't want to, I don't want to impinge on her uh, her plans. <laughs> now that's a safe shot. For Fox Two News, I'm Daniel Stevitt. I know a lot of families have a not on the first floor rule when it comes to that taxidermy. <laughs> Experts at the Missouri Department of Conservation believe that most antler doe simply have heightened levels of testosterone, but given the size of this particular animal, this deer could have had both male and female reproductive organs.